Hi there, Bud Greg. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you know where I'm coming from by now, but uh, I'll tell you anyway, Chandler, Arizona, and it's a bright and early morning here in my backyard in Chandler. Good morning to the world. Um, I just had a quick thought. I wanted to get this on video real quickly. Um, I grew up in San Diego. Well, not that I've actually grown up yet, but I spent my earlier years and most of my life uh, around the beaches of San Diego, California. Pacific Beach, Mission Beach, South Mission Beach, uh, etc. And growing up, well, I still have a best friend. His name's Terry Gerson. Uh, but I grew up with Terry in in uh, in the beach in the beach areas, and uh, his father's name was Stan Stan Gerson, and Stan had a place literally steps from the ocean, so you know Terry and I when his, whenever Stan was out of town, we'd uh, we'd go hang out at the beach place and and just love it, love every minute of it, hanging out down there right on the ocean, and Stan Stan is a traveling magician, sleight of hand magician and it, he's amazing to watch if you ever um, get a chance you know you might google Stan Gerson magician and I'm sure he'll come up and uh, you know catch a show if you can he's amazing and it was certainly a treat to see him perform for us you know one-on-one -on -one basically growing up anyway um, Stan would go out of town and Terry and I would hang out and party at, at his house which was always a blast but I just have a quintessential moment that that uh, stuck with me for the rest of my life one time when Stan came home and this and, and this is it Stan came home one time and I offered him ten dollars and Stan said what is this for and I said well I made some long-distance phone calls you know here at your place and Stan kind of chuckled and said uh, you know he, he just kind of laughed and said just the just the fact that you offered me the money is enough for me keep your money and I appreciate it. And so to me it was um, a testament of my character because, well, I, I was nervous to give him that $10. I distinctly remember this uh, for two reasons. Number one, um, I didn't want to admit <laughs> that I used his phone for lo making long distance phone calls. And number two, 10 bucks was all I had at the time. And it meant, you know, it meant probably eating for the next week. You know, top ramen. Anyway, um, so that's a moment that just sort of stuck with me. Uh, forever and um, three or four days ago a good friend of mine came to me and asked me for help asked me for some money and I said to this friend just the fact that you had enough guts to ask me because they didn't want to they, they were fighting themselves tooth and nail um, to avoid having to ask me for a handout and that's their character that's their personal pride and I you know unequivocally said here you go and 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 because of their character and because they're true blue friends I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that they'll pay me back when they can okay you know times are hard for a lot of people and I was in a position to help and because because they're the true true blue friends that they are and you know because of their prideful character I had no problems whatsoever helping them out. And it's kind of a full circle, but you know, and call it pay it forward, call it good karma, call it what you want. But the real point of this video is that relationships are bigger than money. They always have been and they always will be, and I don't want you to forget that. Because there's a lot of people in this world that are getting caught up with keeping up with the Joneses and having the Rolexes. And, and, and the Porsches and, you know, the bigger and better everything, basically. Forget about it. Relationships, friends, always have been and always will be bigger than money. Okay? That's just a quick message for you today. I wanted to get that on video. This is Bud Greg signing out. Make it a beautiful day. See ya.